Now, if you've installed a Android modification that modifies your boot image, AKA like a custom kernel, even like uh, Majisk modifies that custom kernel. Or if you've installed TWRP and you just want to go back to either stock recovery or stock kernel, the stock boot image, then I'm going to show you how to do that today. So as you can see, I've booted up into TWRP. So I'm just going to power down the device. And I'm going to get us booted into fast boot mode. This is also known as bootloader mode. Once we are in fast boot or bootloader mode, we can go ahead and connect our USB cable. And then we're going to turn our attention to our computer because you're going to need to download the version of Android that you're currently running from Google's website. All right, so what we have here is my Pixel 2 XL folder that I keep things that I want for the device. So I'm running this version, this latest version of Android. So if I want to go back to the stock boot image or the stock recovery, I'm going to need to download that. And I'll have the link to Google's factory image in the full tutorial, which will be linked below this video. Now once you download that, we're going to need to extract that into a folder. You can see I've already done that. That's going to include another folder. And then we're going to go into this folder. You're going to see another zip file. And this is where your boot image file is located. You can see our boot image file is right there. Older versions of Android have had separate image files for the boot image and the recovery image, but that is not the case for the Pixel XL, the Pixel, the Pixel XL, and the Pixel 2, and the Pixel 2 XL. So after you have extracted that boot image from that zip file, I'm just going to go ahead and open up a command prompt or a PowerShell. And then we're going to type out the command fast boot space flash space boot underscore a space the name of the boot image and we're going to press enter on the keyboard now that had that sent that boot image to boot a because remember the pixel phones have dual partition systems then it wrote to boot A and everything went okay. So now we're going to do this again except this time we're going to flash it to boot underscore B. So it'll be fast boot space flash space boot underscore B and then the location of that boot image and then we're going to press enter on the keyboard And we get the same thing. It sent that boot image, which was okay. It wrote that boot image, which is okay. And then everything finished. Now, again, this is going to 
bring you back to the original boot image, aka the kernel, and it's going to bring you back to the original stock recovery, which is going to remove TWRP or any other custom recovery. So just to show you that that has worked, you're going to still be in fast boot mode while you're here. You can move up to select recovery mode and then press the power button. That will boot our device and take us into the stock recovery because we just flashed that stock boot image. And there we have the stock boot recovery. And I'm just going to go ahead and do reboot system now. As this is going to take us back into the regular Android operating system. Which is going to show you that before I had Magisk installed. In order for Magisk to work, it makes modifications to the kernel. now that I have switched back to the stock boot image kernel it's going to tell us that Magisk is no longer installed and this is also a way to show you that everything's gonna boot up like normal that you don't have to risk anything the important part here is you just make sure you're downloading the specific version of Android from the Google website that you're currently running. Normally there's not many changes made to boot images from monthly update to monthly update, but there are there can be sometimes. See, so now we're we are being told that Magisk is not installed because we're back to the custom recovery or the original stock boot image. So there you have it. That is how to restore the stock recovery image and restore the stock boot image, AKA the kernel on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL.